get inside the car so because I'm at the garage sorry for the light so I don't have too much light here I will try to open turn on these lights first thing with the car in on position but without the engine running I will try to make it with this hand so one two full throttle one two up up again let's see if we have okay as you can see maintenance mode is activated this is the the brake pads that i've ordered so ferodo premier uh, i've chosen this because since i will still using the original discs on the rear and this is very cheap brake pads and the main stopping power is on the front so I go with this one, so Echo Friction, Premier, so standard ones. As you can see here, I already removed the wheel and we arrange that. We only need to remove two screws here, so remove these caps. We have a bolt and also we need to remove the wear indicator gently because this could be this could damage easily and then I need to remove this one I will grab uh, a key to remove that also I need to check what is the size of the socket I guess it's a 13 let's see so let's remove this one also with a screwdriver gently put here in order to um, remove the piston uh, to put the new pads but first we need to open the bonnet and open the oil cap with the screwdriver gently remove the caps okay, remove the caps up and on the bottom so before starting anything with the soapy water put some soapy water I will clean this because it accumulates brake dust and it's better to have this beautiful with a microfiber towel you can clear clean this and we have this much beautiful and clean not the best but it's good let's try to retract I will be doing this off camera so the piston is already retracted so let's remove the screw so Okay. 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 Slide it forward as you see and then also we need to remove the spring tension from here okay it's there okay and move it okay so this is off only holding by this this and these are good let's remove the pads guess it's good won't go anywhere also don't put tension on the brake holes so remove the pads first let's grab the new ones okay so this one's this for the other sides okay one thing it's 
try to never touch in this side of the, the brake pads because we have some oils etc so put it like that okay so this one it's for these sides we can remove it so I can show you the difference between between a new one and the other one also a lot of wear let's put it like that new one here okay yes we have the guidelines and the other as you can see the one has an open for the wear indicator this one don't have anything right now let's see if the piston is all contracted let's check if not i need to okay let's see if it will open let's remove the cable Yes, everything is good. Let's check. Let's enter. So, on the bottom, let's push. And then, let's try to push. push. Next thing is to put the wear indicator in the right spot and there he is. So one side done. So for the next side it's the same approach. So I will not I will not show how to do it because it's the same. So, I will do it, oh, one more thing, as I'm forgetting, almost forgot to put this, so it's just put the spring tensioner in the side, put it on there, and then, I guess, with one hand, it's doable, yeah, okay, as you can see, very easy to do this job this is one side so right now let's jump to the front before going to the front so replace the 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 discs at in the front so i will show you what i've bought so in this case zimmerman this is the brake discs so my car because it's the s version it's the 350 millimeters in the front and 225 at the back. In terms of brake pads Brembo, these are huge ones. Very cool, very cool stuff. And then let's check the Zimmerman discs. Whoa, very nice. And this is huge, man. This is huge. Imagine, that's my hand and oh, half of disc. Very cool. So perforated and with good, good quality. In terms of brake oil, I will use one of the best oils available. So this means Motul RF, RBF, 660 so that's very good also used in the Alfa Romeo and spot on very good so let's remove here these two screw Torx I guess T25 or T something remove this remove this spring and then 
the process is it's the same of the previous one. We have two covers, remove screws, and do lift the brake caliper. Also, first uh, back the the piston, return the piston, then remove this bracket, and let's see how it goes. So first thing to do is to remove this cover. We have here a Torx. I guess it's a T25. Yeah, that's it. So T25. Remove it. Okay. Very easy. Okay. Let's do it like that okay and this is very good engineering because with this cover you think like you have a rainbow brakes yeah that cover makes a big difference in terms of looking of the brake calipers so remove the spring I guess it's just pushing so best option to remove this it's like that it's to with this hang and push it backwards and then it unlocks from here from this locking system so right now same process we have covers here and then we will remove it remove the the brake caliper and then change the pads also before we need to put the, the, the piston remove the piston so let's make an update with the um, hexagonal H hexagonal 10 millimeters we can remove this the better option is I guess the 11 the a 11 but with this one we can un undo the the screw so I already undo the the first one on the top and then let's try the bottom let's see if we can make it okay Okay, it's already undo. Already undo the both screws. So as you can see here, the caliper is off. We have here the brake pads. We will remove also this one here. So first, it's better for me, to like trying to hold the brake caliper. So let's remove the pads. These pads have a little bit of of ferrodo. I will check the other one. I will grab a new one to check the difference. So let's put here a new pads, like a new pads, and used pads I guess you can see the difference now let's remove the disc we need to remove these brackets two screws here the big ones and remove this to remove the disc to remove this bracket we need to remove come on if I can put my arm here this screw and one on the bottom I guess that one here let me check if I can this one we need to remove one screw I already remove it the bottom one the bottom one and then the upper one let's remove the screw already removed the brackets now to remove the disc we have one screw t25 
50 here and then we will use it. I will try to use the impact wrench because it's much better because the disc as you can see here it's not locked and it will turn. So guys it's a bit of a pain to remove the disc so I made like a trick so because I'm going with the hammer like in triangle ways punching the disc but it's not coming from the rust that settles here around this circle the hub so one tip and trick with the screw two nuts and washers so you put like you force it to go uh, outside by uh, screwing scr scroll screwing this 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 um, screw and he came out so right now what I will gonna do is with this clean this surface try to clean the best way you can use like a Dremel or something like that to make it nice and then I will apply copper grease in here for the future we don't have any more this problem and then I will clean a little bit of this also all the parts and yeah the next thing or the opposite way so now it's to complete um, the assembling in inverse order as you can see or after this you will see the final result the before and after uh, to check the difference